Hi everybody, welcome to Cabin Creek Homestead. I'm actually on the road. I am in sweet home, Alabama with my mom and my dad. We're here in front of their beautiful home and we've got a very tiny but important gardening job to do today because my mother's uh, flower of choice is the gardenia. They've been at this property for about three years and it came with some really beautiful foundation plants mm -hmm. and it does have some gardenias, which has the smell. They're really, they're beautiful. They're kind of peppered around the house. Unfortunately, this is not the type of gardenia that can be brought inside for like putting in a, in a you have a crystal bowl mm -hmm. that you, she lets the flowers float in them. They don't age well when you bring them in as a cut flower. I think what you have is the radicans. So I went on a little hunt yesterday <clears throat> and I found the August Beauty. Now, the August Beauty, although it is named August, it's gonna bloom all summer and all fall, and it is a double gardenia, and it ages quite slowly. This one right here is yellowing. It's in the beginning stages of kind of slowing down with its flower power, but as the plant matures, you're gonna get a bigger flower. They can grow four to six inches big. It's a really big bloom on a mature plant. Um, and this one is perfect for growing in Alabama because it's hardy through uh, their garden zone right here. Mmm, they smell so good. <laughs> <laughs> How so, do they taste? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I like to call my mom a gardenia snob because even though there's gardenias everywhere, there's a certain type that she wants to be able to bring inside. And I think this is the one. This one's going to get a little bit big. So <clears throat> this one can get up to six feet tall. But you can maintain it at whatever size you want and it's going to get about four um to uh, four to five feet wide but when when you're done with a flush of blooms you can always trim it back keep it the size that you want and i think yesterday we walked around the house and we kind of mm -hmm. determined where we wanted it mm -hmm. there was one bare spot that we definitely knew that uh, a gardenia could go but i saw another bare spot and mom doesn't know i'm doing this hold oh. on i have something else <laughs> okay mm, it smells, smells so good, good. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what is this? It's a gardenia tree! I never! I never even heard of a gardenia tree. <laughs> Neither had I. I found it at the garden center yesterday. Wow. And it's about to put off a million oh, blooms. Oh yeah, look at those. So, unfortunately, yes. this was just labeled as gardenia and it did not have its cultivar on there. I don't know what kind of gardenia this is. It could very well be the August Beauty because of how has, tall it already is. But it kind of has a different <clears throat> leaf. There's a flower there. It does. It has a, I think it has a bigger leaf because it's a more mature plant. This one probably has been cultivated for about three years in this pot and been pruned hmm. to, to. Oh, yeah. So here's about the, the, the size of that bloom. Well, Obviously this is an aged one. So this is a double, triple bloom right here. Whereas the radigans, the snow girl, the hardy climbs, they tend to be a single petal in a spiral shape. So I love the double bloom. Yeah, I do too, but look here. See see the difference in the leaf. See, this is long and skinny leaf. Oh, it is fat. And this one's very glossy. Yeah. So, I can actually see what you're talking about. So yeah, it is different. We'll have to, we'll have to do a deep dive and figure out what this is. Yeah. But <clears throat> now, in Alabama, I think the gardenia is ideal for growing in Alabama. In North Carolina, I normally recommend that people put it in a pot and grow it close to their house for the warmth or bring it inside over the winter because even the, the frost-proof gardenia um, tends to go really wimpy over the winter and some people are replacing their gardenias every spring. Um, but you've got plenty of warmth here and if we plant it close to the house, that obviously protects them a little bit from a late frost that we can get and it keeps them warm because it, that brick radiates heat um, over the winter. So this has been pruned in the shape of a tree. So what we're going to have to do is continue to prune it. This is trying to put off new shoots at the bottom. We will just peel these off and keep it in a tree. So I saw a spot for it okay. that I thought would go kind of back there ah, in the patio area. But first, let's plant this gardenia. Okay. Sounds good. <gasps> it's a big one, Mom. That is a big one. It's about to open. And look. Yeah. They really are. Oh, it's about to explode. Wow. So just start, come on so, Hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm so blessed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. I get my sense of humor from my daughter. Ah, is that right? Is that right? <laughs> so here we are on a corner. 
because gardenias can be pruned so well, I kind of envision this going in this little corner. This, of course, is a crepe myrtle. It's going to grow tall. Eventually, um, these branches can be pruned off and it won't compete with size if the gardenia is kept at the same uh, as this lower petal and right here. Mm -hmm. I think we could, you could eventually prune it to kind of fill in this little arch right yeah. here. I think that'd be so cute. I do too. So we're just going to remove some of the pine straw. <coughs> Thanks for helping, Amber. Oh, yeah, this is, this is fun. You have to come back to North Carolina now, dude. Help me with the rest of my garden. Yeah. <laughs> Scalpel. Scalpel. Yeah. <laughs> Scalpel. That's right. When you're digging a hole, you want it to, uh, you want the plant to sit at ground level. Um, you don't want it to be too low. If anything in our clay soil, because they have clay soil in Alabama as well as North Carolina, you can plant it just a little bit high to make sure that the water never pools around the um, the trunk of the of the plant um, but then you want to dig the hole twice as wide and you kind of break up all of that red clay in there to give it a new consistency where the little baby roots can break through much easier as they're trying to grow <clears throat> we're in the beginning stages of the dog days of summer so watering is going to be really important if you can get those roots established as quickly as possible um, then you're going to have great success but gardenias love the heat so Especially this kind that we have. Mom, will you hand me the little gardenia? Yeah. I have a little trick I'll show you, Dad. Uh -huh. Trying to keep things tidy while you're gardening is kind of a, a hard thing to do. But I like to pull my plant out and set it to the side and then fill the dirt with this that I'm removing. Oh, that is clever. Right. So mm -hmm. I'll just hold the baby over here. Good root system. Yeah. That's gonna Are go. you digging or shall I? Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not true at all. Oh yeah, this, this soil isn't nearly as hard as I was expecting it to be. Yeah, I guess because of all the rain we've had. Good job, y'all are doing a good job. <laughs> right, Scott? Oh yeah. <laughs> We can watch real good. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a good shot. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to. <clears throat> yeah, that's really a clever system because, yeah, you just dig and dig and dig and you don't yeah, want to Dirt it. everywhere. Yeah. And this way, definitely. It really does. It's not quite the consistency of raw red clay that you would expect to see. So. Whenever they planted, they did a good job of adding organic material in here to make it softer. <clears throat> now, the root ball is sitting just a tiny bit higher than the ground. And I think that's okay because gardenias, although they like to stay moist, they don't ever want to sit with wet feet. If you have an extremely rainy winter, especially, you're going to get root rot. So now we can use this as fill dirt and just bring it back in around. And this is a this is a nice consistency. This is very crumbled. The baby roots can get through it just fine. There you go. Gardenias are acid loving plants, which is good news if you grow in red clay because red clay tends to be acidic rather than alkaline. But if you're growing in a lot of really dark um, or maybe a yellow loamy clay, I would add some garden lime, or you can use one of those Miracle Grow um, instant fertilizers, the water soluble for acid loving plants. You can use anything that was meant for azaleas or holly because those are acid loving plants as well. But in our red clay, I doubt we need to add anything to the soil. And now I'm just going to push down, make well, sure we're getting rid of the bubbles. So um, you had said that they don't like to have wet feet. So is there anything, if we're getting a lot of rain, is there anything we can do to make sure they don't get root rot? I think that your topography right here is lending itself to drainage really well. Okay. I don't think that you're going to struggle with it, especially because the root ball is just a tiny bit higher than the rest of the okay. surrounding soil. Um, I love it. I'm so glad that you like it, Mom. <laughs> now, this was Mom's Mother's Day present. We weren't here on Mother's Day, so this is a belated yes. Mother's Day gift. And it's wonderful because my mother, Christine's grandmother, mm -hmm loved gardenias and she mm. always had them in her yard and so it always reminded me of my mother so i have gardenias and now i'll pass it on to you and i <laughs> you always have gardenias i'm gonna have to get some yes they really did i've never yeah these seen are pretty i mean it was just straight up green we don't have them in 
These have white flowers. These have white flowers. They have white flowers. Yeah. And then these have pink. So, um, yeah, I like the interspersed. The other side's just all. Okay. So, here we are in the backyard. Mom, I noticed an empty spot right here. It could be a problem with the window. Oh, yeah. If you keep this into a shape of a ball, it could be really cute from the window. Oh, not, I see. Not quite repeat the look. If not, you can put it in a in a corner. You can put it in an island somewhere, or we can find another spot. But it was just an idea. You might even be able to pop it over there. Take that azalea. <laughs> Gotta pull this up. Yeah, it took us a little time to decide where the surprise plant. Don't you love being the problem child? Mom, I got you a new gardenia. Where you pull something up so you yeah. can plant my. Um, this gardenia isn't perfectly happy here. I think it's getting a lot of water from the downspout, even though like they like to be moist and have like a, a constant moisture to them. They don't want to sit in a ton of water. Oh, man, oh, man. The shovel. The, the shovel, shovel is. Hey, that's good timing. Yeah. Hey, this is a bigger. Hi, hey, John. Hi. Right. Right. Thank you. Yeah. For bringing you it over. Uh, got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we hire him to dig a hole. Are you filming? Hire him to dig a hole for it, doesn't it? If I didn't have my crops, I'm not living it. 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 i have you seen that 30, that 30 for 30 on I Hate yeah. Christian Lately? We don't know how far oh, those balls go. I watched it last night going to bed. Yeah. That thing is awesome, man. It's hilarious. All right, we'll see you in a little bit, John. All right. Thank you. Oh, yeah. John, thank you. Oh, there's a big root right there. Yeah, that is a rock. End of the hour. This is the official footwear of all gardeners, by the way. <laughs> Walmart version of Birkenstocks. We do have rocks down in here. Here we are. Lovely. There's a big old root down in there. That's about the height that I want. I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna plant the root ball crooked so that this is actually straight. Yeah. <clears throat> and then Scott, if you'll be the judge. Yeah, it's leaning towards the road. So bring it back this way. Yeah. <clears throat> How's that? What do you think, Graham? Graham? Well, you know, you're talking about camping <clears throat> last night. I don't know if you remember, but every time we went camping on Memorial Day weekend, oh, Labor it Day, weekend, every, it got rainy and cold. Mm. Like a cold front would come through just for us. Make <laughs> it tidy. That Who's looks great, y'all. What, what the heck are these? Earplugs, apparently, but. Those look, that looks great, y'all. That looks wonderful. Yeah, that looks really good. Thank you, Christine. We, You're I so welcome. It. I love it. Everybody oh, should have it. gardenias in their so home. So excited, and and it's just as perfect. It is. Back up, and you'll see. Mom pointed out, it brings a lot of symmetry because of this crepe myrtle, this tree, and that crepe myrtle. Things look good in groupings of three, and so now you've got two end pieces and a center piece, if that makes sense. <gasps> yeah. Oh, look at that word. A... Could you put your head down? No. Nope. Hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. A... <laughs> we're, we're looking at the sky. <laughs>